to the upstairs. At some point, you'll find the basement, the way that gets down to the basement, and then that's the basement landing. I remember that. All right, well, you go first so I can watch you. Copy. Uh, all right, well, Grandpa's going to go... Alex just brought me a delicious frosty beer from the Cloak and Glass. I went to the organ room. The organ room's on the second story. What kind of organs in there? So how did you do? How did what? It's, oh, because that was so I went upper one, landing. One, two, three, four. What's Either that way. What? That's the um, the hunt tracker, so you know what the number is. So you don't keep counting everybody's cards. Oh yeah. So every time somebody draws an omen card, the rolls. That's the one. That's been in there since the beginning. No one ever uses it. I had it in mind. I didn't know what it was for either. Somebody else I played with used it. Oh, I got to do my event first. I do my, my event card. A shadow separates from the wall. As you stand in shock, the shadow surrounds you and chills you to the core. You must choose any one trait and attempt to roll for that trait. So you're chilled to the core? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose knowledge. Yes, I'm chilly. You're live in it? I'm not live in it. I'm just going to record it and then post so it later. Five. So I need a four plus. I did not get a four plus. The shadow drains your energy. The chosen trait drops to its lowest value. It doesn't drop to the skull. That trait is already its lowest value. Shut up. Turn one and I go all the way down to four. Your table is very popular with the kids. I wish you were live streaming this. Alright. Uh, so now, clockwise, it would be my turn. I move six. Yep. So you can go any door, any door you go through, you draw a tile that matches. Oh, but you get to keep going to stop your turn? If, if you run into a symbol, any one of the symbols stops your turn. All right, so I'll go... I'm going to do... No, it really wouldn't matter, right? One, two... Yeah. Nope, you got to find a ground one. Oh. So just toss that one. Then you grab, grab the ground one. Uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Coal shoot! One way to the basement landing, so you're down there now. I don't know exactly when that But it doesn't stop your turn. It's, it's not next week, Wednesday. It doesn't or it does? No. It's not next Tuesday. It's the Tuesday after. Right. And you're not coming tomorrow? What? You're not coming tomorrow? Uh, nope, that's ground floor. You need the basement now. I guess that would depend slightly. My girlfriend will kill me if I come tomorrow. I guess I didn't shuffle these very well. There you go. Oh, oh, got basement oh that one. There's one back here. Um, you can bring me mine, so when I'm ready to go. Uh, yeah, I guess well, I'll see you guys. I guess see me ya. too. <laughs> oh, I found the mystic. Oh, I probably should have picked where I was going first. I found the mystic elevator. So now you uh, roll two dice to figure out where you're going. Four. Oh boy, you get to go any any floor. Uh, other than this floor. Now you can go you can go back over here if you wanted. So, so I went one, two, three, four, oh, no. oh, yeah. five. Oh, and there you go. There in the furnace room. Alright. So you draw an omen card. What's the rest of the text? Sound important? If you end your turn here, take one point of physical damage. So you take either a might or a speed damage. You can't die in the beginning, so you can't go below the skull. Like you well, stop. Six before. seems oh, like an awful lot, but I guess you need it later for, to run. Oh, I'm gonna drop a mic because it's still a three. And then I take an omen. Yep. And then you read it. And girl, like a you. companion, a girl trapped alone. You free her. I gain one sanity. Do I go up up on my max? Yep. I gain <laughs> one sanity because I'm just a nice guy. Get a girl. I score a girlfriend. Uh, and I gain one city and one knowledge now. All right, so what's this mean? Lose one sanity and one knowledge if you lose custody of the girl. This omen can't be dropped, traded, or stolen. Make a haunt roll. So you roll those six dice and you got to beat a one. And where's, where's my girl? Uh, I guess there's not a s straight girl... Thing, so I guess there's not a straight there's girl. There's not a straight girl here? No. You get that, I guess. I don't know. There's not a there's not a girl token. Maybe it's on the other side of something? No, they're the same. Is it under the plastic? 
No, because I mean, you only punched a handful of things. They're all here. No. That's Lloyd? Yeah. Crush it. That's your girl. Alright. So what did I need to do to... Just beat a one. Oh. And you get to roll all these dice? Yeah, well, eventually, it gets high enough that you, you can't beat it. Right. Or you have a really bad roll and you lose on a two. I've right. seen that happen before. I almost paid for it with my library card. I don't think they take library cards. Put this cards. on the county. <laughs> that right. would be so cool. Corey, it's your turn. All right. Oh, I got cash. Woo! I'm going this away. I don't normally have is, money. Did you knock over a bank? I did. Ground. Collapsed room. You must attempt a speed roll of five to avoid falling. If you fall, if you fail the roll, draw a basement tile and put it in play. You fall there, take one die of physical damage. Good luck, Corey. Good spot, Make it happen. So four dice. I need to roll. Oh. My speed's high because my name's Flash. Tempe yeah. speed the other, the other of five. Uh, buffy and slow. No, he's just tougher. Strengthier, yeah. Oh, strengthy. man. I don't know he's strengthy. This guy, this guy had high knowledge, but if I flip him over to the priest, then he has high sanity. No! I got four. What did you need to do? Five. You said five plus. Five or more. Tempe, yep, five plus. So you fall to where? The basement. Any basement floor? Just take this one. This is kind of sad. I gain one sanity, sanity and one knowledge right away. If I lose her, I only lose the knowledge and sanity that she gave me. I fell into the wine cellar. I get one point of damage, right? Uh, Thank you, Alex. One yeah. die of physical damage. Uh, so you can roll and die. I do. Whatever you get, you may take no damage. One okay, damage. boy pointed it out. Andrew said. How do, where do I apply that? Look. Sorry, Andrew. Huh? You take it on miter speed. Uh, I don't know what to do with the real money. No. Sorry. I don't know what to do with the real money. And then, you and your uh, turn I'm in the wine cellar. Get an item. Sweet. It's not live, it's recorded. So he's not watching turn, now. I can he'll eventually watch. The music. And then he'll know, but if he says he's coming, I will try to make sure. While the music box is that open, is very nice any explorer you. or monster with the sanity trait that enters or starts... It's turned in this same room. Must oh, he's take not here a sanity with roll plus four. He fell down there. Sanity roll of plus four. I can't read tonight. If the roll fails, the explorer or monster ends its turn as it is mesmerized by the music. If an explorer or monster carrying the music box is mesmerized, it drops the music box. If the music box is open, when it is dropped, it remains open. See, most of the time when people play games like this, they're like, oh, I don't want to read that much. But this game seems fine for it. Yeah. All right, oh, here we go. Omen time. I, I did a big move. Bite. I growl the scent of death. Pain, darkness, gone. When you draw this card, something bites you. The player on your right rolls a might four attack against you. I'm going to die before this thing. Please don't die. You defend against this attack as normal by rolling dice equal to your might. You roll a five, and my might is... Three, I can beat that. So is that the amount of damage if you don't roll your I, whatever? So this could kill you. Oh. Two, so I take three. Oh, uh, it's the difference thereof. But I can't die, so the most I can go is down. But I have to take three points of. Uh, oh, we can't damage. die until the omen. Can't die, so you go down until the score. And I have to make uh, a hot roll. You just go down to the last slot before the score. Yeah. You can't die until the threat to, or the betrayer. So I, I, I can immediately like we'll start the game and then I'm already dead. Because I'm just like he's the bad guy. Go punch him one time. Because that's about where I'm at. Oh good. I hope you're the bad guy. That's helpful. I hope I'm on your team. I beat it. Schwantz is now two. The Schwantz is two. Uh oh, light went out. It's getting spoopy in here. <laughs> It's, uh, oh, I'll just go. What's uh? Oh, it's my turn. I'm gonna move. And you're in the basement. I could get in the elevator, right? You could. Or I could just, and what happens when we run out of these? We just reshuffle, right? Yep. I'm gonna move. No, you gotta open the expansion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this isn't good. Pentagram chamber. 
Thank you, Alex. When exiting, when exiting. Oh, so I can still leave here, right? Because I just went one, yeah. two. Oh, but you're stuck there. Oh, yeah. You your so I can't do a next, till next turn? No. Yeah, so you have to tip the knowledge roll to get out. <laughs> yeah, but I, that my chick increased my knowledge. Well, I'm not very smart anyway, though. Skull! A skull cracked and missing, and missing teeth. If you take mental damage, you can take all of it as physical damage instead. Oh, Make a haunt roll, so... Six. You gotta beat a three. So I get to move four, so one, two, three. You can go anywhere, any floor. So I would come here? If I went to this floor? Take the elevator and put it somewhere. Oh yeah, ah, door. that's right. Don't go in this room with me, it's bad. Dude, I, I love this game. One, two, so three. I guess am I saying that now when it could possibly be a over slam? No, it, it moves fast. I don't do anything? Nope. All right. I do nothing. Where am I? I'm up there by myself still. Lloyd's off playing with himself. I am. Oh, into the servants' quarters. Mmm. And yet another omen. I just want to know where the maid is at. Your little girl, when you where the maid's at. A symbol of calm in an unsettling world. Gain to sanity now. From maids? Make a hot roll. Let's keep going on. <laughs> Toss it. I think I won. I would say you won. My turn. Your turn. I gotta make a roll. Now, how many dice do we get to roll? For what? Oh, uh... Four? A knowledge roll, so whatever your knowledge is. Four. So then you roll four dice. And you gotta be the four. Oh! It's not exactly the easiest thing in the world on this, is it? It's, I have a 50-50 chance of beating four. You win! So you don't take any damage. Mm, two. I'll take that one's got a basement. Into the junk room. Uh, when exiting, you must attempt a might roll of plus three. If you fail, lose one speed. But continue moving. But it's got an omen, so I gotta stop. Yep. Uh, goes up to five. Ooh, I got a weapon. A weapon pulsing with power, Corey. <laughs> A powerful pulsing what weapon. Pulsing for you. Oh, you roll two additional. <laughs> you roll two additional dice, maximum of eight, when making a might attack with the weapon. You can't use another weapon while using this weapon. Make a hot roll. All right. Roll. Roll. I thought I just did, I didn't. How many dice we get to roll? Six and you gotta beat a five. <laughs> Whips. Getting up there, isn't it? Three. Four, five. Thank God. Oh, no, you gotta roll again. So you gotta beat a five. Yes, yeah, five or better. Five or better. <laughs> I rolled a five. And I had three more Some dice. Of scared a little bit. I was a little scared, thank you. Alright. My might's not very good. Two. Three. No, I'm gonna go. I went here, right? So one, two, three. 
So a physical damage, either might or speed. What happened to the elevator? When exiting, you must attempt a new speed roll of three. If you fail, you lose one might. Right. You're stuck down there until you find a way out. I, you took my elevator? I yeah. did. And then he left you. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when he was going to notice. I'm the one that found the damn elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is when I leave. And that's gonna suck. And I get to get to this one. Yep. Smoke. Smoke billows around you. You cough, wiping away tears. Put the smoke token in this room. The smoke blocks the line of sight from adjacent rooms. And explore rolls two fewer dice, minimum of one die on all trait rolls while in this room. It's a dead end anyway, so it doesn't matter. I think this goes here, doesn't it? No, you hold on. It goes somewhere else. The smoke token is supposed to let us know. Uh, oh, I guess just leave it here. What's this possession one? That was one of the ones, that's the one I failed. This is my discard. I don't think we go through the whole thing. Oh, uh, it just caused an event. Okay. Leave that one out. Leave the smoke out so we can tell it. Here you go. All right. Uh, your turn. Um, I'm still upstairs. Upper. Oh, it's a creepy hallway. I'll go this way, I guess. Oh, but that door doesn't go that way. Oh. Upper. Oh, it's the gymnasium. Once per game, if you end your turn here, gain one speed. They got a gymnasium on the top floor. So I gain one speed because I end my turn there. Oh, I'm back up to four because I was already at four. They should have definitely made that... Like a lower, or I don't know the main the chiropractor place I was going to at the car accident. They have a, a gym on the second floor, and the whole time you're there, you're just scared something's gonna come through. All the, all the, yeah, all the all the muscle guys up there just slamming weights down because they're deadlifting 800 pounds. Yeah, I hope that's got to come down with force. it. <laughs> Two, four, six. Yeah, Cheers. I really made it. That's right, I made it. All right, I gotta move out of here. Oh wait, I did it. Oh, I didn't actually draw my omen card. Medallion. Oh, was that I an omen? It. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I didn't draw the omen card. Oh. You are immune to the effects of the pentagram chamber, crypt, and graveyard. I already made the hunt roll. And it's still six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I just forgot to actually draw it. One. I gotta roll three or better against my might. My might is only a three. Golly, that's gonna suck. Right? Three plus, and my might's a three. Roll a bunch of twos, or ones. Don't roll any zeros. Zeros. Oh, oh, you're halfway there. I got it. Well, kind of. Hey, oh! You got it. How exciting. See, that's exciting dice rolling. All right, that was one. Two, three, a chasm. Oh. I get a speed roll to cross. I guess it's got to go this way. Mm -hmm. I get a. Sp I have a speed of six, and it's a three or better. Yeah. What do I need to roll to get out of there? Uh, you need to roll four. No, the one I'm Oh, on. that's me. <laughs> I'm the old creepy guy. Uh, when exiting here, you must attempt a speed roll of three plus. So speed of three plus. And then end your turn as well? Yep. But it's not an omen. Underground lake. Four uh, The smell of this room, it's horrible. It smells like death, like blood, like slaughterhouse smell. Um, uh. Uh, you must attempt a sanity roll. Do you know what this is? My sanity is what? Three? Or four? four. I, had plus, I had plus one because of the girl. You must attempt a sanity roll. Uh, two, four. Lose one might. <laughs> Alright, so my turn stopped, right? Yep. 
I'm gonna lose a mite, and that's not good for me. I made it. How do you heal? So that's so enough for me to get out, right? Uh, you find the rooms that give you stuff, like What's the gymnasium. It gives you speed, right? It gives you plus one speed. I need might. If anybody finds any might. I might. Wait, where'd you? You can't go in there. There's no door. Oh shoot! You gotta go I gotta go back way. out. Yeah, oh smoking. crap! You gotta go that way. One, <laughs> two. Stop sticking together. It's another basement. There you go. Oh no, you're on the third floor. Upper. Research laboratory. The research laboratory. I hope I'm not the bad guy. Why? Oh, I was a bad guy last time. Uh, Shrieking wind, the wind picks up a slow crescendo into a screeching howl. Each explorer in the gardens, graveyard, patio, tower, on the balcony, or in a room with an outside facing window must attempt a might roll. Not me. I got a window? Nope. No window in the Oh, we're gym. good. Never mind. How can you tell there's a window? Uh, you'll see it on, like, these have windows. Oh, okay. It's got curtains. Yeah, Alright. Nobody has windows, so we're good. Here you go. Uh, did you stop moving? Oh, yeah, I have to. I have to. Uh, well, Lloyd, go you gonna bring the house down? Balcony, that ends my turn. Oh, don't crank. And you're gonna crank up the omen chip. Crystal ball! Hazy images appear in the glass. Once during your turn after the hunt is revealed, you can attempt a knowledge roll to peer into the crystal ball. And it lets me see things. So now you get seven. This is where the hunt starts, guys. I'm sorry. Yep. No, it's not. You can do this. Sorry, it's Oh, God! It's a terrible roll. It was. Golly! Uh, so it's in here. I got a little bit of a way to get back upstairs. Good luck, fellas. Unless it's me. <laughs> You're the bad guy. Let's see. So it's the balcony. Oh, it's not in this one. It's in this one. There it is. The balcony and the crystal ball. What's secret survival for? Huh? What's that this, one? This is the good guy one. This is the bad guy oh. one. Oh. Um, balcony and crystal ball. 32. Whoever's got the highest sanity... Is the bad guy. I've got a five. Five. Four. Or so how the how the hell do you fix the tie? Two floors are on the same trait, and one of them is the haunt revealer. That's you. Tyler, and one of them is the haunt revealer. Choose the haunt revealer. Neither player okay, so I'm the haunt. Okay, so I'll go over there and read my oh, so I said it was thirty-two. Yeah, so go thirty-two in that book. Alright. Oh, I played this one before. You guys are going to die. Got it. So I guess let me know when you're ready if you devise your strategy. <laughs> it is page 32, right? Haunt 32? Uh, Haunt 32, yeah. The crystal ball flashes and a thundering chord bursts out from the pipe organ. Wow, there's a lot going on here. The house shakes and shifts, changing its contents and even its layout. The air thickens into a claying green corrosive mist outside the sky. It's massive. The trees are close. All right, I'm going to skip all that. What do you know about the bad guys? The traitor is an alien. Hmm. Sorry. Who has transported the house to its home dimension with corrosive atmosphere that will slowly kill you. We're going to lose. <laughs> uh, we win when we return the house to its own dimension. You must do this. At the beginning of each hero's turn, roll two dice. The hero subtracts the result from the trait or combination of traits. From any trait or the comp. Oh, God, that's us. You understand? We're rotting. So, wait, we're rolling two dice and you we roll two dice and you subtract trait? that from any trait or combination of traits. Okay. How to turn the house. The pipe organ in the organ room, which is revealed. What's up here? Oh, you're right there, Corey. It's not just music or instrument, it also is a dimensional transporter. You'll need to play it right, play the right song on the organ. 
resonating the proper frequencies for conventional travel. While in the organ room, you can attempt a knowledge roll to play the right song. A hero can try to play an organ once during his or her own turn. The following result send the house back home. Uh, we have three players. You must Wait, roll the, a 15 the, the or The result better. does what? You have to Failing. roll... You have to make a knowledge roll of yeah. 15 or better. 15? Or better. How the hell? i got to increase our knowledge. Here can play the organ once during his or her turn. The following results... God, 15 or better. Uh, you can explore the house and find the clues to the proper song. Found clues benefit everyone trying to play the organ. The same clue cannot be found more than once. Uh, add one to the result for each room with an omen symbol. Okay. So, for every room that there's an omen symbol, you add one. Add two to the result if you're playing an organ and have the musical hobby. What's that? It might be an item. That's a hobby? Um, add two to the result if you successfully find the music books in the library. Once during the turn in the room, you can attempt a knowledge roll of plus five to find the books. All right, so that's important. Add two to the result if you go to the game room and succeed a sanity roll plus five or better to view which exotic trophy animals and figure out which dimension you're in. Add two to the result if you... All right, so we've got a whole bunch of stuff. Right now we don't have the tower room, but we do have the... What do we have? Okay, so the omen cards, there's a total of... How many omen cards? Seven? Right now? So, so, so you get a plus that, seven. Rolling, we start with plus seven. So this would be a ten. So me rolling three dice... I can't... I, I can't do it. I'm going to have to upgrade... You knowledge. also get plus five. You get a roll of add two to the result if successfully find the music books in the library. So if we find the library, yeah. that'll give us plus two to add two to the result uh, if you go to the game room and succeed a sanity roll a plus five or better. Add two to the result if you go to the tower uh, and do a knowledge roll plus five or result. Add two to the result as long as the madman is in the organ room. The has made the journey between dimensions several times. A two to the result as, a lo as long as the book is in the organ room, which is an extra dimensional atlas. This is cool. I'm digging it. I've only played once before, so I'm yeah, pretty happy. It's a good game. All right. Good luck. This is, I don't think we're going to do very well because we're not in a good spot right now. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. But you wrote that. You're the best. She didn't write it. She typed it. <laughs> Alright, so these are the rooms we want to find. The ba the, um, the game room? The library. The library. The game room. Uh, the tower room. Library room, the tower. And then if, if you take the madman into the organ room, that'll help. If you take the book... In, into, in, the, into the in, into the organ room that'll help and we can try to keep finding more omens to increase our role as well oh yeah yeah so and that doesn't hurt anything right because the omens already well it, uh, yeah it won't I don't I don't think so but I don't forget, forget I have this if we need it what does that do did it tell you guys how to set up this no, we didn't get that. It's only yours. It just, oh, you get to rearrange everything. Oh, no, they're all gone. Oh, so there goes all the omen cards. Are you kidding me? All of them are gone? Except, except for occupied rooms in the organ chamber. Uh, wait, I took you the organ You just took the organ chamber. chamber. That was off the year? Yeah, it was off I there. get to choose where it goes. You get to rearrange the cards? No, everything else is gone. No, but you get to rearrange where the organ goes? Yeah, it says I get to choose where it goes. That one stays. Well, these go too, right? 
And now the starting ones stay. Any occupied rooms and the starters. That's a starter one. Oh, that's a starter? Yeah. We always start with the basement landing. Those. All right. So that means all of our omens are gone? Gone, yes. Oh, or the are omens, they... what are you talking about? Oh, no, there's one there. There's one. What do you, what do you need the omens for? It's part of the game. Oh, okay. The amount of omens on the board, we get a bonus. All right, so it's my turn, right? Because you just triggered that? Um, I think it always starts with the player to the left of the betrayer, I think. So it would be, you would go first. To the left of that guy. I think, I think basically the betrayer always goes last, I believe. Do these reset? No? Nope. Uh, the good news is that I'm almost dead, so you just run over and punch me in the face a couple times. I don't know if that's a win condition. It's either. not. <laughs> I do know that. I don't even know what yeah, you would you, do. Yeah, you, I, I do know that you guys basically die a little each turn. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> so I start, and then I run. So it's all up to you to, to save yourselves. The game is just working to kill you for me. I roll two dice. So you can still you can still search the whole the house and everything. No, but at the beginning of my turn, I check. Beginning of your turn, I roll two dice. I don't take any damage. I roll move well, seven. Roll Can again. you roll for me next turn? <laughs> uh, one. Did you shuffle these? Yeah. Yay! That goes to the upstairs, huh? Leads to and from the foyer. Yay! There's stairs in the basement. That's good. Oh, so you can get out of there. So you move this to that side? Uh, it leads. It oh, it leads. just magically leads to it? Um, yeah, from the basement landing to the foyer. So you can put it on either side. Do you care? Or however you want to... Well, I went here. Oh. Oh, so that's how it worked? I don't think it did. Or is it just a magical... No, I think you just go through and you just appear. Well, it's got the door, so... All right. So Two... Three. Omen. So this is the top stop your turn, but you don't have to. Uh, so what what happens to these omens then? They're yours for the rest of the game. Yeah, those are your special abilities. So, but you could draw omen cards then. Yeah, they they still stop you. You just don't. Yeah, but we don't, don't draw do these the, anymore, do we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You just don't. You just don't do the hunt roll. Yeah, because remember. Oh. The items. No, the yeah, item. items in there. Oh. Spirit board. If you if I use the spirit board after the haunt has been revealed, the traitor can move any number of monsters one space closer to you. If you are the traitor, you don't have to move the monsters. If there is no traitor, your monster will move one step closer. So I this just lets me look at. I don't want this thing. All right. Two. Is this ground? Yeah, that one. Up, I'm up. So. Library. You got to use your special ability. Once we game, if you. Oh wait, I got to roll. If you end your turn here. Ooh. Damn. Two. You get two physical damage. You it's can split whatever, that up between spo speed and might. I you thought can, it was between anything. No, physical. I think, right? I don't think you go crazy. Oh, no. The results from any combination of traits. Corey, I'm sorry, you're right. Oh, so it's got to, like, kill, kill you. It's got to kill all of your things. Right, well, depending on how you do it. Right, because something else could do damage to you. Yeah, but I mean, it's not just doing physical. Like you can spread it out amongst everything. Yeah, among everything. All right. I think I did play this one before, and I think it wasn't very fair to you. <laughs> God, look, that's a, just a beating. It's I don't not, know what you can do to be, us. I think it should be one die. I don't die. Really have to do anything. Yeah, but I wonder what you can do. I mean, I can run and punch you in the face. Add two to the result if you successfully find the music books in the library. Once during your turn in that room, you can attempt a knowledge roll. A plus five. So first to the event. 
What should I say? Once if you end your turn here, you add your gain one to your knowledge. Nice. So this is good. I gotta get up there. Is there stairs up there? No, not yet. Where? Yeah, you come up here and. Uh, right night okay. view. You see a vision of a ghostly couple walking on the ground, silently strolling in their wedding best. You must attempt a knowledge roll. So you're gonna get fucked up here too. Corey, don't die on me, man. Oh shit. Two. You pull back them. You pull back. In horror, unable to watch. You did nothing? What's well, the other thing? Something good? You recognize the ghosts as former inhabitants of the house. You call their names and they turn to you, whispering dark secrets of the house, gain one knowledge. Oh, I could have gained one knowledge. All right, so right now you can make a roll, a knowledge roll, mm -hmm. and then plus five or better to find the books. Yay. All right, so we need the token for the books. That adds two. A token for the box? The books. Oh, the books. Is it just, is it just like a random token? Or is it an item? Is it an item? Oh, it's one of these probably random item tokens. Here, you get item number six. So you got the books. So that's going to add plus two to your knowledge roll. All right, and then you ended your turn here. So once oh, we're game... Oh, maybe I should have did the book first. And then did the roll for the... for the event. What do you mean? If I would have got the books first before doing the event, then I would have had a chance to boost my knowledge again. You still get to boost your knowledge, one. Ready? I know, I did that. Oh, did you? Are you talking about just the order of which you roll the dice? Mm -hmm. You may roll them differently. You do that at the very end of your turn. He's doing that right now. That's the end of his turn. Right? No, I did that first. Oh, you're just doing it at the end of your turn. All right. Would it have affected your roll? Maybe. You would have had one less dice. Yeah, I would have had one. I would have had one less die. Should I redo it? I would say yes. Actually, what's your knowledge? Four. It wouldn't have changed. You had four. It's two fours there. Maybe he's on the first. Yeah, but now. I was at three. Oh, okay. Damn it. So you may not get the books. The books. Oh. Give him the books. Oh. Give him the books back. <laughs> Bullshit. It's your turn, poisonous alien Lloyd. Why am I an alien? Because it said we found out you're an alien. It just said I had more teeth than any other humans. <laughs> uh, R says you're an alien from a Can I not move and try again? Yeah, you don't have to move. Yeah. I'm going up there too. Where the hell is he going? I don't know. <laughs> should I do that or should I try to peck around? Let's see what he does first. Okay, so this is. Am I supposed to tell you guys when I do that? Um. So then here's it. Each knowledge roll token you have placed subtracts three from knowledge rolls to activate the transporter. So you Can get I... minus threes to your knowledge rolls. Alright. Uh, minus three? Yeah. Each wow. one of those each... I place. But I can only put, it's specific rooms and I can only put one per room. So. Uh, Alright. Are you allowed to tell us what the other rooms are? No. <laughs> well, I mean, he's allowed to, he just doesn't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. Shut up. I'm gonna go there. Come if upstairs. I, if I hit you, if I kill you, what yeah, happens? You just have to solve the game before it kills you. So you are player eliminated. I can be, yeah, if you kill me. Is that what it says? You can attack you? You can always attack somebody. It's just that's not a win condition. You guys still have to beat the game. Yeah, but you're, it the stops will, these from coming out. It does. Yeah. You can kill me. Where'd this come? One, two... Yeah, right where he's at. Right there where I'm at. Three. So if you want to move past me, you have to have one extra speed to get past me. One extra movement. I've got lots. Yeah. Or you can fight me. Come at me, bro. <laughs> God, I want to player eliminate you. That would do suck. It. No, do it. Well, my might's not very good, but I do have a weapon. Let's go. All right, let's do this. 
My might's three. Wait, well, let me find. How, how do I succeed? Uh, you roll, and then I roll, and then the difference. So you could actually take damage on this if I roll better than you. What's your might? Um, well, I can defend with speed or might. I can defend. With, oh, I didn't know. If that. you're attacking me with physical, I can defend with physical. Can I attack with speed? Yeah. I can attack with speed. Yeah, I believe so. You uh, you just attack with physical straight. Um, make an attack. You can't attack anyone until after the hunt. Uh, no, no, no. When you make an attack, roll a number of dice. Oh, equal to your might. Your opponent does the same. Whoever rolls a higher result defeats it. So it has to be might. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but I can split crazy. it up amongst it. Well, my might is a one, so you're gonna do a ton of damage. Are you, you have sanity? I, I have a lot of sanity. <laughs> Come at me with sanity. I dare you. How much might do you have? My might's three, but I got a weapon, which is two. Uh, I have two dice. So I rolled a five, which isn't great. I get to roll one die, so I'm, Good I'm luck. most likely gonna die here, and then I'm just gonna sit back and watch. But the you game can defend. You. you can take same, take speed damage, can't you? I can take speed damage, yeah. But I can take one point there, and that kills me. So I can only take one, two, three, one, two, three, three points of damage is the most I can take, and then I'm dead. So if I don't roll a two here, I'm dead. Because you hit me for five, right? Yeah. So I'm dead. Sorry, sorry about that. That sucks. Player elimination sucks. But I can still win. You certainly can still win. Oh. Oh, you didn't roll for your damage. You may not have any. You may not have as much might. I'll take it on speed because <laughs> I have a lot of speed. Two damage. That's right. Kill them, Dimension. Kill them. You can still move too, don't you? No. I don't, doesn't fighting in my my movement? No, you can move after. But can I? Your your speed just went down, so you took one, two, three to get there. And I have four. I have the higher of the four, two fours. Four. Let's just do this. Yeah, one more. Yeah, go ahead. Then. Five. And then I do a knowledge check, which is my knowledge is four with the girl. One, two, three, four. And I need to roll five or better. Yay! I got, better. You got the books. I got the books. All right. I'm not playing at all. He's doing all the work. <laughs> well, you, you got to roll your two dice to see how well you fare this. You two more two points. Gosh damn. Yes. Kill them. Poisonous oh, I get cats. a point of knowledge. So you both you both gain that. So you don't get it anymore. <laughs> it's once per game. He didn't get the books. No, no. I mean the knowledge. Point. Oh, it's once per game. Per player, once per game. Once one one player. If you end your turn there, you get it, but only once per game. Oh, okay. And this is a minus three. It's a minus three to your to your knowledge rolls. For for the so for my the, books were two. The transporter. My books were two, so my knowledge is oh. five, and after all, fifteen. It's impossible. Floorboard slowly creak, dust rises, footprints appear on the dirty floor, and then, as they reach you, they are gone. Roll I one die. It doesn't say these can't be lost or stolen, so you can technically get those. Oh, I guess. I guess I think, you get that one too. You can't get this think, one though. I think they said something in the book about the items. Uh, well, certain ones say they can't be lost or stolen. Mother. Oh, I, I'm dead. I'm, I think I'm dead. So I have to play with myself? Yep. Because I go, I'm at <laughs> four, and then I hit the skull, so I'm dead, right? Can you, how much do you have to take? One speed. Oh, you have to take one speed? Yeah, uh, one speed. Then yeah. I'm Does dead. Crystal Ball do anything cool? Uh, lets you dig through the deck for stuff. For it, which deck? Uh, I think it says the event deck. Something invisible just killed uh, me. Great. I, I think you can get card, uh, omen cards. It seemed like there was a lot more that said they couldn't be lost or stolen. Maybe it's... I, I think this drops I have the room a couple. I die in, right? Two of mine can't be lost or stolen. Oh, does it say it on there? You can't yeah. be lost or stolen? Yeah. Okay, then. If the cards don't say it, then yeah, you can pick My them. girl can't be lost or stolen. Jesus Christ. So now I have to sit here and play with myself in front of you? Uh, what's that music box do? Anything? Uh, There's no threat, so you, I wouldn't bother. It, it stuns a monster. Mm -hmm. And then if, if you don't pass the test, it stuns you as well. 
So I gotta roll two dice. Yes. Kill them poisonous gas. Kill them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Amazing. I'm dropping my might. I get eliminated, but I can still win this thing. <laughs> this isn't upper, is it? It is upper. It's upper, yeah. Operating laboratory with nothing in it. That was the other one I needed. Mm. There was a list. That was one of the other rooms I could roll the knowledge in. Can you reveal rooms? What do you mean? Can you, when you move around, can you reveal a room? Yeah. Room tile? Just nothing would trigger for for you. Oh no, it still triggers. The, the the events and omens they still stop your movement if they get revealed. Yeah, but that's all it does for you. You don't draw cards. Oh wait, this has an event on it, but it says. You can attempt a three or better to cross the room. If you fail, you stop moving. But you still stop moving with an event. You stop you? moving there. In future, yeah. You but have if you want to... Wanna... So you don't have to roll that now because you stop moving automatically and you do the event. The events are going to kill you for me. <laughs> if you're in the basement, nope. this event affects the next explorer to your left. That's nope. you. <laughs> <laughs> if not in this basement, discard the card and all of the explorers are in the basement. So you're now in the basement. I mean, you teleport you to the basement. <laughs> no, discard this card if all the explorers are in the basement. Well, you're in the basement. So I guess Read the all of the words. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> all the words. This is... Place the slide token in this room. Uh, slides into the basement. Yeah, if I fail the roll. And it's a might roll. So I'm in the basement. Oh, there's a slide. My only gripe about the game is some of the betrayer stuff don't make sense story-wise. Like, you're in a... You know... Did you make it? No. Oh, so you're in the basement? Yeah. Did you hurt yourself on the way down? I don't know, I landed in the crypt. <laughs> oh, that you're immune to the crypt because of the holy symbol. Oh, thank God. I believe, is that is that what the holy symbol says? I believe so. Is the holy symbol or the medallion? That's my That's negative medallion. For is that the crypt? Yeah, yeah. Crypt. So you're immune to that, so you... If you end your turn here, one point, so you don't have to take the point of mental damage, but you still have to do the event. <laughs> Poor Professor Longbottom. <laughs> Dead before his days. Speed roll. I get four. You? Little girl. I didn't kill her. Died at eight. She's eight <laughs> years old. Hey, you got a four. That's good. I think. You break three, and I gain one speed. Oh, boy. Look at you. Now I gotta roll Try two to dice. Try that poisonous gas. <laughs> now I gotta roll two dice, see if I take any damage. Yeah, take, I take it Take two damage. What the hell? Of the next four. Age nine, hobbies, swimming, and medicine. She likes medicine. Medicine? Yeah, she plays doctor by herself. If she knew medicine, she wouldn't be laying there dead right now. No, but this, I'm, on, this I'm, on the, I'm on the eight side, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This one is dolls and music. It makes sense. Game room. Got another fucking event. I never liked the art for the characters. <laughs> I, think, I never liked the art for the characters and the miniatures. Where they look. Well... Have you seen the updated things? The upgraded components they've done? No. It comes with a new miniature, I think. And it definitely comes with a new one of these. Put a drip token in that room. Do the miniatures look better? I, I want to say that they came with new miniatures, but I'm, I'm not... I'm not I, yeah, miniature. I think they did. A drip token? That was a drip token. Nothing on here says drip. Well, I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, there's a drip. I found it. Where's the drip going in the game room? Yeah. So what does that mean again? Drip, drip, drip. At least I'm gonna try. You gotta roll two again? Yes! Dead. Yes! <laughs> oh no, wait! No, dead. <laughs> My dimension has killed you. 
And so my only win condition was you guys all had to die. This was, I had played this one before, and it was just unfair then. 